Hi Thinkers, welcome to the Microprocessor playlist on ThinkX Academy. Uh, in this section 4, 4, we have already studied the move instructions. Basically, section 4 of this playlist considers all the data movement instructions. In this video, which is the section, uh, which is the video 4.4, we are going to study another important instruction, which is the load effective address instruction. And it is commonly known as LEA, right? So the instruction is the LEA instruction that we are going to study. So let's get started. Let's see what this instruction is used for. So the first point about this instruction is that LEA is used to compute the effective address as the name suggests that it is actually going to compute the effective address and basically address here means the memory address only and it is actually computing the effective address of the second operand of our instruction right so whenever we will write a LEA instruction it is going to compute the effective address of the second operand and we know that second operand is actually the source and then what it does is it stores and then it stores it in the destination address or we can say the first operand and it is actually the destination right so i'm going to write here that it will uh, be the destination so uh, to compute the effective address uh, let's uh, see what ex how it is different from the move instruction so unlike the move instruction right so i'm going to write here unlike the move instruction lea will just store lea stores the computed address right it will store the computed address So I will underline this computed address, right? So it stores this address and in the target register, inside of the target register, which we known as, which we can also call as the destination, right? So it stores the computed address, but the move instruction here, I'm going to write here that the move instruction stores the data contents right or i can say contents of the target register right so a very simple difference so that you will know how exactly it is different from the uh, move instruction now let's take an example of a lea instruction so i'm going to write here a sample example so the instruction starts with LEA, load effective address. And here we will specify the first operand. Let's say it is the BX register. And then let's specify the second operand as the DI. And uh, we have already discussed what is the use of this square brackets, right? So uh, it will load the offset address, right? So this actually means the offset address. So what will this instruction do is it will load the offset address which is specified by the DI which is the uh, second operand. So it is specified by DI and it will store it into bx right so i'm just going to use this that it will store that into the bx register if i have a variant of this move instruction right if i perform the same thing here right which is like this now instead of lea we have the move instruction so let's see how move instruction works here the move instruction will load the data stored at the data stored 
at this di position right so uh, at memory location which is specified by di and then it will store the data into the bx register right so a very simple difference between the lea and the move instruction the lea instruction will just store the uh, offset address which is specified by the di and we know that this square brackets actually means the memory location so in lea we just store the memory location inside bx whereas in case of the move instruction we will uh, the instruction will try to find out what is the data that is stored at this particular memory location which is specified by the di and then it will store it in the ba now let's see can we perform the task which is performed by lea using the move instruction so can we use a move instruction to load the offset address instead of uh, loading the data right so let's see how we can do that and it may come as a question in your exams also so it's a very important thing so the answer to uh, that is that i'm going to write move bx and if i want to store the offset it, uh, the offset address i can use a uh, inbuilt or you can say the reserved keyword which is offset right so offset all caps and then i will perform a uh, i will just specify the list right which contains the data and offset will specify the offset address and now the offset address of this list can be stored inside of the bx so here we are trying to uh, use move as the lea instruction right so it will perform the same uh, same it performs same function perform same function as the lea instruction as lea bx comma list right so in, instead of list you can have di or some other register here here also you can change that now uh, if it performs the same uh, function as lea then why do we require lea that's also a very good question the answer to this question is that the offset keyword will work only with list right only with simple operands it works with simple operands and it is not used for operands and this is really a very important point so i'm going to mark a star here that it works with simple operands like list and not with not with so i'm just going to change the color here so that to red so that you will know that it will not work with the operands like di or let's say some other complex operands like list si and there are so on right so uh, this offset cannot uh, work with some uh, operands like these which is di list and that so that's the first important point why we cannot uh, use this uh, move instruction if we want to uh, if we want to implement the same thing as this instruction we cannot create a, a similar move instruction for that all right so there is one more important point why uh, offset is not used and uh, or of why why you should use offset in some conditions so first important thing about using offset is that offset is actually more efficient right so in some cases if you are working with some very simple operands offset is going to be more efficient 
and why it is more efficient because uh, technically it takes one clock cycle so i'm just going to write here one clock cycle to execute right and uh, lea it is much more efficient than lea because this type of instruction will take two clock cycles right so clck just means clock and i'm going to write here cycles and the reason why uh, it is more efficient right so we are using offset in the move this so we are actually uh, saying that this instruction is actually faster than this instruction the question is why is that right so uh, i will answer that the reason is that this type of instruction is uh, because the assembler so I'm just going to write here move offset move bx comma offset and here I will specify list is faster because assembler we know that the assembler actually uh, we it converts the assembly code into the binary so we have the assembler will calculate the offset address so the assembler will calculate the offset address of list whereas in case of uh, lea right whereas the microprocessor which is the cpu right so the assembler will calculate the offset address of list in this case uh, whereas uh, the microprocessor calculates the address of the calculates address of the lea instruction and that's the main reason why it will require two clock cycles because the microprocessor will first have to uh, calculate the address of the uh, lea instruction but here in this case move bx comma this the assembler can easily say uh, using this offset keyword the assembler can uh, calculate the offset address of the list so only one clock cycle is required so that's all for this tutorial make sure to like this video and subscribe our channel you will find the whole playlist in, uh, in in the i button here i will give the link and in the description also so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching